Yo, 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 this your boy Fireworks. Welcome back. This is Snoopers Gonna Snoop YouTube channel. The beautiful white gold is here with us today. And we are about to go to the theater for the first time in 2024, all right? So this will be our first theatrical uh, movie. Um, and unfortunately, or maybe fortunately, it's Madam Web. Now, uh, I've heard mixed reviews, but I have not heard that this is an awesome or a great movie. I have not heard that. I've heard mixed reviews. Um, so white gold, how do you feel? I guess before we go in to see Madam Web, how you feeling about it? I hope it's good because there was so much hype behind it. You know, like Madam Web, Madam Web's gonna do all these connections, like literally and physically, like you know. <laughs> so, um, um, I want to check it out, but if it's trash, like, uh, come on, because we have like we have three different Spider People, well, more than that, Spider Men, and main ones, and they're all good. And then we got other ones added in, like Miles and 2099 and Spider-Punk. And they all, you know, did what they were supposed to do for the spider world. So hopefully, I don't want to no different, but we'll see. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about it yet. I'm interested in seeing it for the character more so. Um, and to see what we get out of it. I don't know if it's gonna be a sequel, if it's attached, it's just a Sony one-off. But you all know Sony, all right? So uh, Dizzy's going to meet us at the theater, of course. Uh, if we don't get his thoughts before we go in, we're going to catch his after and as long or along with ours, okay? So uh, make sure you guys are leaving a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and tap the notification bell so when we do a video just like this, you all will get them first, okay? So again, uh, we're going to see Madam Web, first movie of the year, all right? Uh, I guess we will see you all on the other side, all right? I'm Fireworks, the beautiful white gold, and this is Snoopers Ghost Snoop YouTube channel, and we back. We just got out of seeing Madam Web. So, Dizzy, what are your thoughts? Oh, uh, man. Um, well, let me just start off by saying this. The, the, first, the first 45 minutes, first 45, 50 minutes, I was like, okay, all right, cool. And then somewhere halfway in it it just fell off because that third act was shit that third act, that third act was not good um and i think what disappointed me about the third act the most was that i mean this this is spoiler so you know just just a fair warning before i go into detail you didn't really get to see any of the well like julia carpenter anya corazon and uh maddie franklin you didn't get to see them in their in their in their spider suits. Like if anybody watched the trailer, like what you saw in the trailer, that's basically what you get. Um, and then also for like any superhero movie, you know what I'm saying? Like there has to be some sort of payoff, especially when it comes to the action sequences and all that. And the villain has to be good. That's probably that's probably the worst Marvel villain yet. Ezekiel Sims, he was not good. You know what I'm saying? No, no disrespect to the actor that played him, but that that just that that wasn't it. You know what I'm saying? I told I didn't told him like a couple times during the show. I'm like, bro, him and his little secretary friend, they getting on my nerves. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, like I said, I didn't I didn't like the villain at all. Um, like I said the third act wasn't all that good, and. Like I said, I really didn't have high expectations going into this. Um, you know what I'm saying? But still, I, like I said, you know, Dakota Johnson and, you know, Sydney Sweeney and Celeste O'Connor and what's the, Isabella Merced or whatever. I like the chemistry between those four. That's probably what I got the most out of this. But I think they deserved a better script. Um, they deserved a better narrative. I think I would have liked to have seen them go with the go with the rumored um, script that they had before about them trying to stop the villain from assassinating the future Spider-Man or trying to stop that from coming in from him coming into existence. Um, and I think that would have 
had Cassandra Webb open up her powers in a more interesting way. She did some cool stuff in here, but but like overall, I mean, I give this like a five, like a, like a five out of ten for me. So, um, you know, like I said, I didn't have high expectations going into it, but yeah, that's where I'm at with it. So. Okay. That's how it is for me. All right, you guys. So welcome back. We just got back from the theater checking out the Madam Web movie. All right. So White Gold, how do you feel about it? Um, I liked it. I'm gonna say I, I'm gonna go ahead and say I liked it. Um, there were parts that I didn't really care for, like I was kind of bored, but. I, I enjoyed like the visuals of it, like that first scene. Uh, is this a spoiler? Yeah, this is a spoiler okay. review. So people, if you ain't seen the movie, you can click out now before we get into it. I, I'm sorry if I didn't say that in the very, very beginning because Dizzy did spoil, but make sure you do. So I liked it, that visual in the beginning where she like hits the water after that, after saving that person from the car. And it went down, and I like that visual of like the the web and her. I guess like they were trying to tell her it was a trauma, which it was a trauma that kind of ignited this. Um, I enjoy, I enjoyed that first like look at this web, and then like I, you can attest to this. Like she was very relatable. I was very relatable to her with her like psychicness and it's hard it is hard to explain it to people because it sounds stupid but like the visuals are a good accurate representation of kind of how that works like i don't necessarily go off like freaking that's a raven but i have dreams and things and i see stuff before it happens and it's it is scary and it's weird and you can't tell people a lot because they're like what well, you're weird you know but that like on a relatable sense and i also like the chemistry between her and the girls like i, ca I kind of got emotional a couple times just based off of like certain things like um more towards the end where they we kind of got emotions for the girls and cassie and like i just kind of got emotional but it was it was i liked it I like the villain too. He he played a good villain. I like the origin of it. Like it was a nice, cool like origin story. Pretty okay. good. What do you give it a ten? I probably give it like a six. Okay. Okay. Just off of things that I didn't like. Just like the middle, kind of not really necessarily like maybe this like the transition between the chapters. I yeah. guess it was kind of, but yeah. Okay. Uh, well, for me, I didn't really go in it with high hopes, but at the same time, I st and I still have this kind of feeling about Madam Web that I've had since we started watching trailers and talking about it. Um, it is classic Sony, but it, it's weird. There are parts of this movie that I really, really like, y'all. Like, she mentioned the part where she fell in the water and you get to see, all, like, I don't I don't know if there is, there are 90s Marvel movies. I know people have don't may not know that there's a Fantastic Four movie that they put out, that they had to put out to get the rights. There's a old 1990 Captain America movie that's live action. There's a Howard the Duck movie that's live action. There's, there's, there's earlier Marvel movies. I don't know if they ever did a live action Madam Web. So for me, that's what I really wanted out of this movie. Like, for the character's sake, is it going to do the character justice? Now, is it excellent or amazing? Absolutely not. But I think that on a smaller tier, this is a good story for Madam Web. Mm -hmm. um, and to, in a, it, to kind of just in a gist for people who don't know who she is to kind of understand a little bit and be kind of familiar because it really didn't deep dive into her full power and, and, and like we know from the comics and watching the animated series and different things like that. And there's different versions of a Madam Web. You know, like I was telling her in the car, the animated version of Madam Web is more of a, a cosmic being. She's she's like friends with the Beyonder. And I'll mm -hmm. explain like to get like an understanding of her power level. That it's more makes like, sense because she like how she was like, 
astral projecting, I guess, to the three girls at the same time. Mm-hmm. Um, she's level wise, she's like the watcher. Um, as far as like cosmic beings, she's not like um, the Beyonders, which is like the people who created everything. But um, I think that for an origin story, that's what I wanted. I didn't want them to try to use Peter Parker to sell it. I really didn't want them to use a lot of the girls to sell it. And they that's kind of the bad part, though. Like, I did want to see more of the girls in the suits. I wish they would have used those moments better than what they did. Now, the second time you did see him, it was longer than the first time that we did see it. Um, I think maybe if you would have had maybe one more of those in there, I'm not complaining because then you would have had three scenes where you saw the girls in the suits, which is what they promoted a lot in the trailer to kind of give you off the impression that, you know, we're going to see these girls fighting in suits. We're going to get like a 10 minute at least time frame. And really, if I'm being honest, it was really all together, probably maybe four or five minutes on screen out of the whole movie with the girls in the suits. Um, so if that's what you're going in for, for you probably be disappointed there, but they got they stuck um, to what's her name? Madam Webb. There's what's her name? Maddie. I feel like like Maddie's like a young spider woman or spider. Where's she Jessica Drew. Yeah. Okay. Like maybe in a different universe. Yeah, because when she had that on, you know, it's like hers, her mask. Right. I and and. And then if you want to, to, to or the, that little girl, sorry, or that little girl that was like the VR girl, that was in the cartoon, like she was animated in the Spider Verse, and she was like, oh uh, okay, um, but uh, yeah, uh, I'd probably give it like a. I'd probably give it like a seven. I'd probably keep it in the middle. Um, like I said, for me, I'm glad that we had the Madam Web story for Madam Web. And I think that that is probably, like for me personally, the best part of it. So um, I did like a lot of the web visuals. I did like, I don't know necessarily about the villain, um, I think that you could have used him without him being there the whole time. I think there was a better way to use that villain. He looked like a kind of Netflix-ish type villain. So, to me, anyway. Uh, I think there was probably better use for him. The costume and stuff was dope. Um, but, yeah, you all let us know down in the comments how you feel about Madam Web, all right? So, uh, again... We sorry if we spoiled you because <laughs> we didn't mean to do that. But uh, if you haven't seen it yet, you know, maybe you can go see it and then come back to the review. You know what I'm saying? So uh, make sure that you guys are staying tuned to the channel. And before we get out of here, make sure you guys leave a thumbs up. Make sure you guys leave a like. And if you're new here to the channel, hit subscribe and tap that notification bell. So when we or I do a video just like this, you all will get it first. All right. So again, make sure y'all stay in tune to the channel. We have fun with Madam Webb. And we'll be back with more movie reactions and movie reviews very, very soon, all right? I'm Fireworks, the beautiful white gold, and this is Snoopers Gonna Snoop YouTube channel. And we out.